Hello there! I just wanted to do a quick video for you in regards to weight loss and getting healthy to make it easier for you to do. Because what I've found, right, from talking to thousands of people and working with them, hundreds of those being mothers, is that a lot of people, the vast majority of people I've spoken to, are making it harder for themselves than they have to. And the reason they do that is because they don't quite understand how weight loss works, so they choose the hardest option because that's all they know about. And I'm talking about, you know, doing keto, doing restrictive diets, thinking you have to go to the gym every day for one or two hours. Those things are ways of losing weight, but there are other easier ways as well. So in this video, I'm going to give you the information you need so that you can choose an easier way for you, a more enjoyable way for you, and a more sustainable way for you to lose weight. So let's get into it. Now the first thing you need to know is when I say weight loss, I'm referring to fat loss. I'm referring to getting rid of the jiggly, the flabby, the saggy, the belly apron, the back wings. When I, had, when I was at my biggest, I had this little lump of fat that used to hang over my jeans, and that would be called the muffin top. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about weight loss. I'm not just talking about the number on the scale. I'm talking about changing your body so you're smaller, leaner, sexier. So you've probably heard the term calorie deficit being thrown around all over the place. You know, everyone's talking about calories, 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 deficit, deficit, deficit. And the reason for that is because that's the only way that we know of right now to lose weight is you have to consistently be in that deficit. And we're not just talking about for one or two days. Oh, no, 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 no. We're talking about weeks and months here. These things take time. And if you're not in a calorie deficit, then you won't lose weight. If you're in what's called a calorie surplus, then that's how you put on weight. And weight loss and weight gain, it's all about balance, balancing the calories so that you can be eating the amount you need to eat to achieve the goals you want to achieve. Now, it's not as simple as that, so let me break it down for you. Now, the first thing you need to understand is that calories are units of energy. So when we're talking about calories, we're talking about energy. Every day, your body needs to use a certain amount of energy so that you can function. The only time you're not using energy is when you're dead. And I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you're probably not dead. Therefore, you're using energy, aka calories, every single day. So now that you know your body needs calories for energy to function, and those calories come from our food or drinks, what happens if you eat more than what your body needs or you eat less than what your body needs? Now, if you eat more than what your body needs, you're in what's called a calorie surplus. And that extra energy gets stored on your body as fat. And that's how you put weight on. However, if you eat less than what your body needs in terms of energy, then it still has to find that energy from somewhere. So let's say, for example, your body needs 2,000 calories of energy per day, and you're only eating 1,800 calories of energy, it still needs to find those 200 calories from somewhere. So what it does is it resorts to the fat on your body, and it burns that as energy instead, which is where weight loss, fat loss comes from. And if you keep doing that, then obviously your body will just keep using the fat that's stored on it. And this is the part where people get confused. There's lots of different ways to get into that calorie deficit. There's a lot of different ways to give your body less food so that it's in that deficit. And it doesn't matter the types of food that you're eating. If you're only giving your body 1,800 calories, for example, but it needs 2,000 calories, then you're always going to burn fat. You're always going to burn energy that's stored on your body. So all you need to do is find the easiest, most enjoyable, sustainable way of you to eat less so you can stay in that calorie deficit consistently so you can get results long term. And that doesn't mean you have to do any type of restrictive diet. It doesn't mean you have to spend one to two hours at the gym. Yes, those things will work, but are they the best way to do it? for you. Now you know you just need to be in a calorie deficit and it doesn't matter how you get into that calorie deficit. Most mums only need to eat about 10 to 15% less 
to get into that calorie deficit. And any way that you can choose to get into that 10 to 15% less is gonna help you lose weight. So you could put 10 to 15% less food on your plate every time you eat than what you usually would. If you're snacking twice a day, you could just snack once a day. You could do a little bit of research on food and calories, and if you can, choose an option that has less calories in it. You could, instead of getting a, a big size combo, you could get a small size combo. If you order a, always order a large uh, coffee, maybe you could order a small coffee. There's so many different things you can do that won't impact your life too much that will bring your food down by 10 to 15%. And that's how simple it is. And I promise you, if you start doing that and you do it consistently, aka most days, then you'll find you'll start getting results with have, without having to go on diets or spending hours upon hours at the gym because I wouldn't do that myself. Now that's a real simplified version about how a calorie deficit works, but I hope it gives you enough information to arm you with better choices so you can make things easier for you, make things more sustainable, and make things more fun than having to do ridiculous diets or spend one to two hours at the gym. Now it can get more complicated like than this and exercise does play a part and you wanna try and eat healthy and stuff. So this is just one video out of many, but if you can under, understand the concept of weight loss and a calorie deficit, you're way ahead of the curve and you're more likely to be, well, more successful. If you've got any questions, I would love to answer them, ask below. If not, I'll see you at the next video, let's go!